But as you were saying that, I was thinking back to when I was 17 and 18 and 19 and hit 21. Like, as sad as that sounds now, that was a milestone for us, right? And for so many people, that was because I never thought that I would live to uh, C21. Um, I actually kind of didn't think that I would live to to see about 17 or 18. Um, hmm. and I grew up in uh, Bridgeport, Connecticut. And sometimes, you know, before, not so much now, because I think people have, has, have maybe, people that are from the Northeast, right? They know about the history of Connecticut. Mm-hmm. Um, but before I would say, hey, grew up in Connecticut and people would think, Connecticut, man, what, what's out there, right? Cows and farmland and pasture. And I'm like, Connecticut was very interesting. It was a, a, a place where based on the city that you lived in and oftentimes based on the side of town, you didn't have dreams of growing up and living past 22 or past 23 because you've seen so many people in the environment, so many of your friends, your relatives, right? Your associates that unfortunately didn't make it. I remember seeing one of my best friends, not seeing him, but having one of my best friends get killed at 17 Mm. on his bike by someone else, right? That was an enemy of his. So that was the reality that we, that we unfortunately grew up with. I think that that becomes an advantage at the time when we're going through it, we may not see it, but later in life, it becomes the advantage for us. It becomes the, one of these things where the, the more adversity you have sometimes, and it comes in different forms, right? The mm-hmm. adversities that you have, uh, it makes you stronger. Like it makes you so much more prepared for what's out there, the things that you'll see as you get older in life and the obstacles that you overcome, especially if you're really trying to do something. Yeah. Right? So if you're really trying to do something, if you have aspirations to really build up your family,